Live look at US 127 tonight, where in a few days, local highways will be jam-packed with cars heading out of town for the long Memorial Day holiday weekend. As you're heading out to enjoy, you may notice more law enforcement out patrolling the roads. The Click It or Ticket campaign is now in full swing. News 10's Deanna Giles is live at the Holt Rest Stop right now with more details on that. Hi, Deanna. Hi, hi, David. Yes, for the next two weeks, local, state, and county law enforcement will be checking whether or not you're wearing your seatbelt in the driver's seat or the front passenger seat. Now, just two years ago, more than 200 people killed in traffic crashes were not wearing a seatbelt. The enforcement of the Click It or Ticket campaign is, is meant to help save more lives. Seatbelts save lives. That's the goal of the Click It or Ticket campaign. Lieutenant Rene Gonzalez with Michigan State Police says wearing your seatbelt could be the difference between life and death. What we're going to be out there is patrolling the roads, freeway, secondary roads, and they're going to be patrolling looking for violators of the seatbelt law. From 2020 to 2023, the seatbelt usage rate in Michigan fell from 94% to 92%. Ingham County Sheriff Scott Rigglesworth says the penalty for not wearing a seatbelt extends beyond the $65 fine. The penalty just simply could be that, you know, you have this life changing thing that you'll have to deal with with the rest of your life, and that's going to be the penalty that uh, was completely avoidable. One, two, three. That's how long it takes to buckle your seatbelt. For those sitting in the back, it's just as important. Rear seat passengers are more than twice as likely to die in a car crash if they aren't buckled up. It doesn't matter where you are riding in a vehicle, whether it's in the front seat, in the rear seat, in the third row, a seatbelt will save your life by keeping you in the seat. Now, Michigan is a primary seatbelt law, which basically means you can only be pulled over if the driver or the front passenger is not wearing a seatbelt. That's why the U.S. Department of Transportation issued or introduced a ruling that would require all car manufacturers to install seatbelt reminders, especially for the rear seats. For now, live in Ingham County, Deanna Giles, News 10. All right, Deanna, thank you. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that buckling up in the front seat can reduce the risk or serious injury or death in a crash by 45 percent.